Okay, and a big welcome wherever you are. Welcome to another how-to video. Today it's a little bit different. I'm actually working from home um, due to a personal reason. I got to have an operation later this week. So it's not gonna be the usual um, video that we do. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, but for you guys to realize the sort of product range that are coming out. So a lot of you already know this little fella, the, the EZ, EZ Viz doorbell. Become really popular, replace the Hike Vision one. Very simple to do, it comes in a pack. This one is powered by 24 volts. I've got a 24 volt transformer, 24 volt AC transformer there. Um, removable covers, so the cover comes off and the actual box itself contains different colors um, so we can match it with the installation environment. It also comes with an angle back plate. So instead of fitting it direct on the wall, you can actually angle it towards. So if it's on the corner of a door and you want to angle it towards the people coming up, that's absolutely fine. You can use the angle bracket, but again, just clip the cover on and you'll see there's two security screws that locate in there. Now underneath the cover, you'll see there's a reset button there. There's also an SD card. So if you want to use the SD card slot, you can remove the rubber, co the rubber cover, insert the SD card, reinsert the rubber cover, and then obviously locate the cover on there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna power this doorbell up now, and we're gonna actually add it to the EZViz app. Um, I've already added the EZViz app, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. Very, very simple to do. When it powers up to default this unit, I'm gonna press and hold that button for 10 seconds and it'll go for a reset, okay? So the idea is when you've got the security screws on there, you can't actually take the cover off anyway. But a new exciting development in EZViz range is this smart chime. EZViz were really kind to let me borrow uh, one of these chime units. So basically inside the box, you get a transformer. So you put mains on this transformer and then out of there you can power this doorbell. So this chime kit comes with a PSU for this doorbell, which is absolutely fantastic. So there we go, Is the, you can actually fit that into a DIN rail mount. Uh, should you need to, or in, in a box, or screw it to a wall, whatever. That's the box there, and it comes with the uh, instructions inside, the uh, serial number and the verification code is all stuck on there. But this little fella itself is a wonderful little unit. So it's the brand new Chime unit. You plug this into the mains um, and actually add it to the EZViz app. So when you add it to the EZViz app, it actually links to the doorbell, and you can actually have more than one of these but you can actually put this anywhere in the house. So instead of having a hard-wired chime unit, which we used to sell or still do sell, but again, it's a little bit tricky. It's not always in the best place to put it. This allows you to move this around the house. So you could actually put it in the kitchen, bathroom, take it to bed with you. That's a bit weird, but put it in the bedroom perhaps rather than take it to bed. But you can actually put this wherever you want in the house and you can actually have more than one. So you just plug it into the mains. On the top is the um, QR code. You scan the QR code for the EZViz app, add it to it, pair it to the door chime. And then when you press the button on the door chime itself, that will actually make this ring. The response is really fast. And actually, if you're using an iPhone on the latest version of EZViz app, on the latest release of the iPhone, you can actually now uh, use Apple Call. So it looks like a phone call. So when you press that, instead of the app ringing, the phone actually rings and it does appear as though the, the doorbell itself is ringing you physically rather than the app. It's really, really neat. And also our intercoms, the Hypervision intercoms, do the same thing. So two areas, plug it in, add it to the app, then you've got some functions you can actually uh, have 20 different options. So there's 20 different chimes or 20 different music sounds that you can uh, adjust this to. So you can pick your preference there. So when you press the doorbell, this will activate with one of the chosen uh, ringtones. But you can also have human detection. So if somebody on a different ringtone, so if somebody walks past this, um, it will actually chime this. So you know there's somebody by the front door before they've ever even pressed this. So it's really, really clever. So I'm just going to default both of these quickly and then we'll add this chime, um, you know, add the doorbell, add the chime to the EZViz app and I'll show you that through the laptop and we'll mirror the iPhone app there so you can see how it goes. So stay tuned, it's really, really simple, a really good offering to your customer, competes with other branded um, products out there, it gives us that competitive advantage. Okay, so welcome back, so I'm just going to maximise that, so we'll go into the EZViz app now. So you can see there, I've already got quite a few devices added to my account, so I'm gonna add a new device. So we're gonna click the plus symbol up in the top right-hand corner, and we're gonna edit it and just input. You can scan the QR code, but I'm actually gonna enter in the serial number. So C, now click yes. So you can see it's the DB1 uh, doorbell. So click on OK, device is powered on, yes. Click next, and then tools you need, you can go through the install here, but device installed. Indicator is flashing blue. So yes, you can see it's flashing blue on there. So we're ready to go. So tick that box. 
click next and it says it's going to connect it between our router and our so close that down that's my password i've just set up quickly click on next verification code is on the rear of the unit v u y w click ok connect it yes yes we're going to connect it to the wi-fi and you can see you'll see this connecting and after about 30 to 60 seconds it'll actually start talking to you anyway so we'll just hold that there you can see there it's actually just adding it going through the process connecting to wi-fi please wait so very very simple process wi -Fi connected. beautiful keep going platform registration successful and you can see it's joined back on the screen share now configuration complete and you Let can see there you can see now that uh, it's live so i can change all of this audio yes daylight time all of this yeah click next then you can set the alarm area so we'll just leave it as default click next and then you've got here select the chime type so you've got ez viz smart chime mechanical electronic or not installed so it's up to you if you how you do this but we'll say not installed right now click finish and that doorbell is added so you can click on the db1 top left hand corner click on this now and you've got the options there you've got answer doorbell call yes of course outdoor doorbell sound that's when i press this button the doorbell will make a ding dong sound audio yes status like ir light alarm notification enable disable that's for motion detection if you see someone walking up to it is it enabled or disabled on enabled it will notify the app there's someone in the area daylight saving wi-fi normal cloud storage storage status and anything there is set there so all happy days what it does do is cloud storage is normal i can actually use in the same with any of these edvis products you can actually subscribe to the cloud recording so you do get a tr free trial period but again you can click on subscribe you get seven days free but then you can actually or the end user can actually subscribe to this cloud um, use if they want so all of the images are stored in the cloud same with the floodlight and any of the ezviz cameras that we do so again really easy to do and it's a little nice little thing that you can actually offer the customers okay so go back on there if i want to now uh, call the doorbell so you can see on the doorbell there's a push button here so it makes that ding dong sound and the app would normally ring there we go. So now it's got EZ Viz doorbell. So it's ringing as if my phone is ringing. So it's ringing there. So I can click on accept. Hello. Hello. Again, apologies. I'm making this video in a, in, a, in the spare room. But again, you get the full video and you get the thing there. And then I can just hang up there. So that's really nice and simple. On its own, this is a really powerful product, really simple to install and really simple to get working on the EZVIS app. So what can you do next? So you can see when I press that button, the time it took to answer it. Now that's not a big issue normally, but we've actually got here, um, the Chime unit is plugged in, powered up, and you can actually see, I've actually added it, top right hand corner, you've got Chime unit there. So I'll click on the Chime unit, wait for it to load and now I can actually link it to a device so what we've got here is doorbell alert so yes when the doorbell um, rings I want it to ring and a human body detection alert that's when somebody walks in front of the uh, doorbell do you want a different chime sound to be made so you can have a doorbell chime and a human detection alert chime so that's fine and it tells you the Wi-Fi that you've got added again click on the top right hand corner the settings status light time zone daylight saving sound and again, you've got the different sounds. So you've got uh, doorbell and human detection. So I can set different sounds. And then you've got the the volume of the door chime there. And when you leave it, tap on it, leave it, and we'll start with that sound. So I can have sound one for doorbell, and then human detection sound two. So you've got two different differentiating sounds. And you've got the volume for each of the volume back on that really simple um device version when there's an update you can choose to download it again very very simple um and that's you can turn it sound on and off so if you don't want the doorbell to work um or you want to turn it off because you you're on a night shift and you don't want to be disturbed go into there turn sound off and the doorbell stops working so nice and easy to interact with okay so one thing we need to do is 
link it to the doorbell. Now, on the doorbell itself, bell itself, bell itself, bell itself. on the doorbell itself, when we actually added it, we could. It was really easy for us to um, link the two together. So when you install it, you can link it to the EZViz Chime unit. Um, through that way if you install that first or the other way to do it is when you install the chime unit itself which we'll do now you just actually uh, follow the step-by-step -step guide and then that will add it to the door chime itself so I'm just gonna quickly go and let me just try this a sec okay so you can see I decline that because I've already added the chime unit itself, um, it, it linked. It was already linked to it. But I'll default it and quickly add it. So give me two seconds and join me, and we'll add the chime unit. Okay. Cheers. Same process. So we're going to go add, and we can scan QR code. But then I'll type the serial digit in itself. Uh, this is seven six two. Click OK. Right. It's found the chime unit. Click add. Verification code. Again, it's on the sticker A L X U H H. Okay. So again, same thing. Um, click next. Got to link this to the doorbell itself. So again, yes, we're going to link it to the DB one with the serial number there. So it's nice and easy to do. Link to Chime unit. Okay. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Please wait. So we're going to link the two together. And when you link them, the doorbell will actually respond a lot faster, as you'll see now. You don't have to link them, but linking them in this way makes them talk much faster. So we'll just wait for this to, to link. Wi-Fi connected. So that's the doorbell. And we can, that's the chime unit. So they're now connected together. So you can see connected. To, so the doorbell is now connected to the chime unit uh, at the DB1 now. So we can click the tick the tick box at the top right hand corner now nice and easy so they're both linked now so again if I press this button now the doorbell button you can see how quick this responds it should come in very quickly again it does take a little bit of time because I'm recording from my phone but again if I answer it hello and I can reject it there again on the chime unit go into chime in the settings and then we need to set the actual sound itself. Turn up the full volume. Sound one for human detection, sound two for that one. That's fine. Uh, pretty much done on the rest of it. Go back. Doorbell alert and human detection alert. Go back on there. So when I press this now, so you can hear the chime unit, that's one, and reject that. And then if I do the human detection, but yeah, there we go. That would normally chime the second one. It does normally, there we go. There we go. So that is actually as easy as that. So easy chime that. unit. So chime unit. Chime unit, doorbell, together as a kit. So if you buy the chime, um, you'll get the power supply which will power that or buy a separate power supply, it's up to you. Um, if It might be an existing power supply. Um, easy to link together like that and then you can offer your customer a really powerful solution. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that I had to do it in a, in a very different surrounding. It's not ideal but we should be back to normal in a couple of weeks. I just really wanted to get this out to you. Any questions, comments, anything, share away, like feedback anything it's webinar at dvs.co.uk if you want to feed any suggestions back i can't thank you enough for all your follows like shares and the love you've been given it's been really really powerful and hopefully we'll see more of this as we move forward